Hi. Good morning. How shortly to be joined by Gigi. <laughs> He's making his way over here. <laughs> no showing up, but hey baby, what are you doing? He's having a scratch behind his ear. Well, what am I wearing today? <laughs> well, I'm wearing a, a very... Do you know, I swear that my darling Buster is still with me because there's parts of hair all over me. <laughs> Every time I take something out of the wardrobe, I'm like, oh, bits of Buster. <laughs> Hello, sweetie pie. Gigi's come to join us. Um... <laughs> I wanted to stand up and show you what I was wearing before you sat on my knee. Hey gorgeous, say hello to your public. Eh? Say hello to everybody. Hi, I'm Gigi and I'm gorgeous. This little one is helping me so much to get over, you know, all of my losses. Aren't you baby? Anyway, I just thought I'd show you what I'm wearing. When I started making these, um, I don't know what you call them, like Mandela waistcoats or whatever. I made my original one back in the 70s, I think. And I found the pattern maybe 10 years ago. And I made myself this. Well, it's what I'm trying to wear, if you can see it past Gigi. And I still love it, but... <laughs> It has the unfortunate effect of having a big bullseye <laughs> in pink on my bottom. <laughs> so I really am going to make myself a new one, which doesn't have the bullseye on the bum. Right, sunshine, are you going to be good while I do my video? He really, really is a lap dog. I don't know whether you've had little chihuahuas or other little dogs, but... They have to be in on the act. Will you sit on my knee, sweet? Sit on my knee. Hey, yeah, good boy. He doesn't like being on my knee, he likes to be held. But obviously if I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Right, first of all, what am I making? These are going to be owl hats. When they're done, they're going to have little pink ears. Well, I'll show you when I finish them anyway. But that's where I'm up to. But because I haven't seen Esme for a well, I haven't seen Esme yet. Oh gosh, I'm covered in hair now, Gigi. Thank you. I don't know quite a size, so I think she'll be this size because she's born July, August, I think. So, but I thought, well, I'll do this bigger one just in case. And this one does look rather big, but she can maybe keep it, you know, for when she grows. Which babies do have this habit, don't they, of growing up? And I finished off the scarf that's an order. It's quite quite a big one. I'm quite pleased with the way it's turned out, although it does need blocking still. Still haven't got round to taking photos and blocking the other things I've got for Etsy because it hasn't stopped raining. Right? I think I'm going to build an arc. I've got my new craft light. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to give the old one to Sue just in case her other half can um, repair it. I'm not quite sure what happened to it, but something happened to it. Right, where am I up to now? Well, I was completely, utterly blown away yesterday. Absolutely. I felt like it was... I can't say I felt like it was Christmas because even at Christmas I don't get parcels like this. I'd just got upstairs as you do to the bathroom and I heard this kaplunk and I came downstairs and there was a note thing behind the door saying I missed a parcel. I mean unfortunately I didn't have Gigi yesterday so he would have alerted me to the fact that the postman was here. But I swear he did not. I've got a big sign saying Please ring the doorbell because I don't hear when you knock. Yeah. Big enough, it's big sign on the front door. And um, I swear he knocked on the door with a damp sponge because I never heard him. Anyway, I was just contemplating this fact and I was thinking, oh God, I've got to go back to the post office now to get this parcel. 
So it said you had to wait a certain number of hours before it got back there and all this jazz. Anyway, a friend popped in and I said, oh, would you do me a big, big favour? I said, will you just run me up to the post office? Because it was raining. And I said, and I don't have to get out on my scooter. I said, I'm hoping that this parcel's made its way back to the post office by then. Anyway, when I got in to the post office, they were all a bit sort of shocked because I wasn't in my scooter. And I was kind of staggering about and leaning on anything. And this woman comes flying up to me and she says, are you all right? Are you okay? She says, we notice you're not in your scooter. I said, it's okay, I've got a lift. So she said, uh, what can I do? I said, well, I'm hoping this parcel's come back. So she went and had a look. She says, you're in luck, it's just getting checked back in. Because ch when parcels have been returned, apparently, you have to scan them and check them back in. So I only had to wait about five minutes and I got my parcel. And it's a good job I got a lift because I was expecting a parcel. Yeah. <laughs> and I got this huge box from Grace. She said she was sending me something. But I was thinking, small parcel, small, you know, little, thank you very much, Grace, little parcel. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was blown away, I'm telling you. I was absolutely overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. I was like, oh, like a kid at Christmas opening this parcel. Gigi, sweet pea. I love you so much, but you are actually in the way, yeah? Don't think we're going to have much joy. <laughs> He's here to stay, isn't he? Anyway, um, I was opening the box and I was like, oh, oh, oh. So I thought I'd share. This is not, you know, as I always say, I don't ask for things, but they do make me very happy when they come. But please, <laughs> I'm not asking anybody to send me anything. Just want to make that bit clear. Um, that is waiting for next week when I'm 70. It's a wine glass with happy birthday on it. I'm 70. I don't drink an awful lot, but I will make the exception. I'm not sure I will actually fill it because <laughs> it is a big large glass. <laughs> but I will definitely use that on my birthday. That is so sweet. And there was a card actually, but it's over there, and I'm not going up. And oh, let me just move all my crochet hooks. I'm sorry, Gigi, but you're the one who's sitting on my knee. I'm sorry if you're getting pitched about. There were some books. There was the amazing crash crochet lace book. Now I do have this book already, Grace, but. Mine is in such a bad condition that when I pick it up, all the pages drop out. <laughs> so I was absolutely overjoyed to get a new copy. <laughs> so thank you very much. It was like loose leaf when I was crocheting with it. <laughs> I've had it so long and it's been thrown about so many times. Yeah. I've also got a book on crochet embellishments, which is lovely because if you know me at all, I always tend to put a flower on most things. <laughs> I haven't got one on here actually, but uh, nearly everything seems to have a crochet a brooch. I don't sell them on, but a brooch that sits on there. In fact, I've just, the, the shawl I've just finished, you know, the flamenco one, I've made one brooch uh, flower already and I've got another one to make. So this one's called Crochet Ooh. Embellishments. Ah! Oh dear, it's only the doggy. Ooh. My neighbour going past with the doggy. Yes, I, I'm perfectly all right. He's not going to harm me. It's only Buddy. Yeah, so this one's by Jean Linehouser. I think that's how you pronounce her name. And it's full of um, you know, all kinds of additions. I do like putting little bits on things because you can crochet the plainest item, can't you? And just a bit of embellishment, you know, makes all the world a difference. What it does to me. But then, as you can tell, I am an embellishment kind of <laughs> girl. Um, there was two packets of sweeties. But I started eating one of them. I'm very mindful of the fact, even though they're sugarless ones. I'm very mindful of the calories because, as you know, I am trying <laughs> to lose weight. But as a friend popped in yesterday, I did have to open my packet of um, emergency guest 
cakes and biscuits, of course, because you have to offer people something. And of course, I chimed in. So, naughty. Anyway, this book is fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. It's Leisure Arts and it's called Noggins and Next. Now, I've not even seen this one actually advertised, not even seen it. And the sh I mean, they are so my younger niece, absolutely. You know, something like that in those kind of colours. She would absolutely love it. You know? And they're all um, close together, not, not open work. You know, they're all warm scarves. I mean, we don't have cold winters like, you know, you have cold winters in the States, but they're cold enough for me. <laughs> And that one, I don't think you can see much of the pattern, that's like a, an RN design with bubbles on it. It's called Fisherman Hat and Scarf Set. And then there's another. That one is lovely, isn't it? It's, there you are, Zoe, look, your favourite basket stitch. <laughs> if you know Zoe 24 Carat Crochet, by the way, she's just made um, a scuddy pattern in the basket stitch. It's a paid for pattern on Ravelry because it took her such a long time to get it right and there's a lot of work involved in it so it had to be a paid for pattern but um, you know it looks very nice if you go back to her and there's another oh dear I'll tell you what I'll show you the back because I don't want to show you any instructions these two like in the grey are absolutely my niece would love them and I think my elder niece would love the scarves although she's not much into woolly hats but there we are so it's like, come here, there's more, there's more. She sent me two absolutely fabulous, I can't really open them up on camera. They're meant to be wall hangings or sofa throws, but I'm actually going to, oh, I don't think you can see them very well. It's fabulous, it's got like a, a tree, ooh, tree on it. And I'm sorry if it looks blue on camera, but it is actually purples. And um, as you know, I plan in the summer to change bedrooms because when my son and daughter-in-law visit the front bedroom is the bigger bedroom so I plan to go into the smaller bedroom because I plan to downsize with my bed and they will be fabulous there's another one which is gorgeous this one reminds me of peacocks I don't know why it's like paisley pattern isn't it let me show you like half of it it's got the ooh, oh God. I'm so cack handed with the GGB on my knee, I can't really show them yet. This, it's got like a big circle in the centre. And they are out of this world, honestly. I am overwhelmed, overjoyed, whatever you want to call it, I am it. You know, when I was a kid and it was Christmas, I don't remember getting so many lovely things. I must have got toys and stuff, but to be honest, we weren't that rich when I was younger. We were comfortably off when I got to be a teenager. But when I was a kid, it was all <laughs> whatever I got, I had to be thankful for, which I was, don't get me wrong. I was never an avaricious child. Now this, I should have tried this on, actually. It is fantastic, dozy and it's going to be worn on Christmas Day, this one Grace. It's a, a poncho and it drapes absolutely fabulous. I will put it on one day and wear it but it's absolutely, it drapes like a dream. It's so gorgeous. This is my Christmas Day outfit. I'm probably wear it with the pink dress or I could wear it with the purple dress because it's got the colours in it and I do actually have an emerald green dress. And the rain is beating down again. Oh joy. Oh joy. And I've got the dentist this afternoon. So I'm going to get very wet. Oh dear. I have my um, rain cape, but it doesn't cover everything when it's raining so hard. And I'm going to be covered in doggy hair, aren't I, Gigi? This is a uh, fantastic. As you know, purple is my colour. 
It is a, that's, and it, you, I wish you could feel it. I wish you could touch it. It's just fabulous. And it's silk. And it, will, and it just feels like a dream. It's just, oh. I've never had anything this beautiful before. I've got lots of scars, but none that feel like this. Mine are just polyester. <laughs> Fabulous, 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 fabulous. And then I've got some bits and bobs. Bits and bobs, bits and bobs. I've got one of the, you know, the roll counters that you, I need to put it on a string though to go around my neck. And, oh, ooh, sorry Gigi. Um, that's a shawl pin show you it. it is super duper duper which way did I go in now I mean just look at that isn't that gorgeous I don't think I could have filmed this yesterday I was like <gasps> if I'd have filmed it when I was opening the box I would have just been nearly in tears I mean, honestly I was nearly in tears with it, all of this Nearly in tears, so so moved by the fact that somebody thinks enough of me to send me something like this. Oh, still in shock. And then I've got some fabulous buttons. I love my bling. <laughs> that gorgeous. They're like a sort of pearlized grey with a titch, a titch, touch of lilac. But they will go on uh, quite a few colours. Anybody who owns a dog knows what I'm talking about. Gigi has just made a whiffy. <laughs> For something so tiny, he can make real whiffies. Can't be sweetie pie. And he's quite unconcerned, you know, you never hear them. You just get, ooh. My eyes are watering. Right, what? Have, I haven't finished yet. I haven't finished. There's a comedian in England that always goes, Come here, there's more. Come here, there's more. <laughs> um, oh, oh, that's just a bag for other things. Just look at that. Sue is going so long. It's over dyed and does it have a colour? Briley book. Briley book is colour 02, I think. It's called I, it's I Love This Yarn. I mean, the label itself is so luxurious, isn't it? But just look at the shades of that. I hope they don't show up as blue because there's all shades of purples, aubergines, dark greens, sort of almost a khaki brown cream. It's absolutely fabulous, absolutely. I'm going to have to think carefully what I make with that because I've got five I think of them. So it's probably going to be a cardigan because it's the kind of colours that would go with a lot of things isn't it? But uh, <laughs> Just make yourself comfy, Gigi, why don't you? So. Mm, lovely, lovely. After Christmas, I'm going to settle down and all the people who've gifted me things, I'm going to actually sit and make myself something. I know Amy, um, Amy's Woolly World of Creations. She sent me to some lovely one well, last Christmas, actually. And I still haven't used it yet because I'm saving it, you see, for this when I have beautiful yarn, I like to think about it and make a decision. I'm not just like make anything with it. I just want to make something special with it, something really nice to justify the colours, you know, in the yarns. Uh, because I don't just want to make any old thing, you know. <laughs> Whatever. And also in my 
pack is Unforgettable Red Heart Boutique. And I think there's also five of those, and I do hope these aren't showing blue again because they're actually lovely shades of purples and everything. I think I'm going to make with this one uh, because it's so it's 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 as a four, it's, which is a worsted, but it's quite fine, and I think it will be lovely and drapey. So I've been looking at a pattern for ages. It's um, I think it's actually um, what's she called? Jay's Knit and Pearl Jam. It's called a walk in the park. It's like a, a poncho, but it's not a V-pointed poncho. It's a it goes across your shoulders and it's square. I would of course make it a bit longer because I don't like anything that stops a bit short on my tummy. <laughs> I like to cover everything up. So I think that's what I would do. There is a pattern on each of these balls of wool but it's for, I think it's for knitted, I've not actually took the label off. Because once I take the label off the ball of wool will go through <laughs> them. <laughs> it's alright, I keep getting distracted by people going past. So I think you can say all in all I was completely and utterly overwhelmed. Thank you Grace. Words can't express what I felt yesterday. I mean everybody sent me cards, lovely wishes and everything like that and they are all helping you know to take away some of the feelings that I've been having. I mean when I made the video saying I didn't want to be 70 that the I was dreading it. I mean, this was before all everything else happened afterwards. And it sort of put me into perspective thinking, why are you bothering about turning 70 when all this has happened in life? Really awful things have happened in life. And I mean, they happen to other people. I know that all of you have lost pets, you've lost brothers, sisters, um, mums, dads, you know, you've all lost people. And you all know exactly what it is to go through this, so I'm not saying I'm the only one, you know. But it is nice when people think about you. You know, with me living alone and not seeing too many people, all right, I'm on the end of a, I'm on the end of a phone, and I'm on the end of a PC. Although I must admit, I'd rather sit in here where it's nice and comfy than sit in my computer chair that after a while really hurts my back, yeah. So I do Google Hangouts, so when I get me um, my laptop, you've got a chance of catching me on a Google Hangout <laughs> if you really, really want to talk to me, um, and I am available. But remember, of course, if you live in the US, I'm probably in bed when you're up and Googling me. <laughs> I wake up many times to miss Googles because I've actually been sleeping. So talking about sleeping, G, G is now making grunty noises because he wants to go to sleep. Whereas I want to um, go and have a spot of lunch. Clean my teeth again because you always have to double clean your teeth when you go into the dentist, don't even though you just clean them. You always have this sort of feeling that he's got a look in your mouth and think, ah, now she's not been cleaning her teeth very well. I do try to look after them, but they've gone a bit yellowed. I think it's old age and coffee, maybe. It's not red wine because I don't drink it. But they, and it's not curry because I don't have that. But they do say things that you eat and, and even medication that you take can alter your teeth. I've never had gorgeous teeth because I've always had the gap. But, um, and they're very small, short little teeth. <laughs> I often think if I did ever get to the stage where I need false ones and they gave me proper sized teeth, I'd feel like, Mr. Ed, you know the horse, because <laughs> I've always had tiny teeth. But, um, you know, as you get older, when your teeth are small, you tend to get wrinkly. Not that I've ever smoked. Nothing against people who smoke, but I never have. And if you're trying to quit, like I know Lisa is, hi Lisa. Good luck, I'm sure you're gonna do it. You're doing very, very well, very well indeed. And um, I mean, to have, for one who's been brilliant. I can't name you all. You know who you all are. And you've all been sent me such gorgeous messages. When I lost Buster, 
I couldn't deal with them at first because there were so many. I've just dealt with them now. So many, many lovely messages, you know, because he was a character and he will be sadly missed. <laughs> oh, don't get me going again. Take a deep breath. People have asked me if I'd get another pet, but um, I wouldn't get another dog. I don't have to walk Gigi because he's, his parents walk him. So I just have the pleasure sitting with him, cuddling him and petting him. I just really don't think it's fair of me to get another animal that he's walking. He's exercised, he's playing with. And I would like a cat actually because I can look after a cat, they look after themselves a bit, don't they? But unfortunately, my son's two um, big dogs that come in the summer. They're not keen. <laughs> so I don't want to take a cat in and then it's life be made a misery, my two dogs chasing it around the house. So I think we'll say, oh, Gigi. Gigi's done another whiffy. Phew. <laughs> That put me off what I was saying, that it was that strong. Gigi, thank you very much. Um, yeah, so I don't think I'd have a... So I, and I'm not into budgies, fish, things like that. I'm quite happy with my borrowed dog. <laughs> and then I look after my neighbour's dog when she goes away. And... So I do get dogs in my life, yeah, don't we? This little one I sort of, I don't think of him as mine, but I think of him as being half mine. Because <laughs> he's with me half of the time. But I don't get the expenses to have his little vet bills and everything. I don't have to make sure he's got his injections and 